We're seeing a huge push to migrate to the cloud, and it makes sense. Everyone wants to harness the power of AI and drive innovation, but organizations need options that are secure, flexible, and cost-effective. So every migration scenario has its own unique considerations. No matter where you're at in your migration journey, this episode is packed with resources to support you. We're gonna be talking about all things cloud migration infrastructure, including some amazing new free learning resources. So whether you're just starting out on your journey or refining existing workloads, we've got insights to guide you along every step of the way. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the Azure Essential Show. I'm your host, Aaron Stark, and today I'm here with my colleagues from Azure Marketing, Marco Bellini and Megan Penny. Today we're gonna to be talking about why so many organizations are migrating to the cloud and why more of them are choosing to migrate to Azure. Then we'll be taking a deep dive into some amazing skilling resources to help you prepare for a successful migration, whether it's through Windows Server, SQL Server, Linux, or SAP. Welcome to the show, Marco and Megan. Thanks, Aaron. Excited to be here. Thanks for having us, Aaron. Absolutely. Now, Marco, let's start off with the big picture. What's actually driving all of this momentum towards cloud migration right now? Well, it really comes down to two main factors. First, businesses want to leverage AI and stay competitive, but companies that are not in the cloud are running into some common roadblocks when they start trying to develop and use AI. For example, they run into issues of latency, data silence, high cost of data processing, and infrastructure maintenance. AI is just cheaper and works better in the cloud. The second big factor is security. Companies understand that their mission critical workloads running in the cloud needs robust protection from code development all the way to runtime. So they're looking to make that transition from the, their existing security tools to cloud security. Got it. So Azure has some unique strengths for these migration journeys, but why Azure specifically? Uh, Megan, actually, can you tell us what makes Azure the go-to for so many organizations looking to move? Three main reasons, Aaron. Performance, security, and resilience. First is Azure is purpose-built for AI workloads with supercomputing infrastructure that's specifically designed to optimize AI performance. Next is security. We offer a comprehensive protection that's built right into the platform. And third is resilience. Azure offers this with a redundant architecture that's resilient by design. It provides robust disaster recovery options like Azure Site Recovery to quickly restore your workloads. And it has features like availability zones to protect against data center failures. So these three reasons together are why thousands of companies are choosing Azure every day. Those are super compelling advantages for sure. But like we said earlier, every migration is different. So I'm curious, Megan, how do we actually support organizations through this entire process? Very true, Aaron. We have resources directly tied to these three reasons I mentioned in Azure Essentials. It's a new offering that brings together all our best practices, skilling resources, and support services all to the single location. And together, it's designed to help you improve the reliability, security, and ongoing performance of your cloud and AI investments. It structures the migration process into three phases, with each with key guidance and tools to ensure your migration is both successful and secure. And in each phase, you can see here, our curated skilling and resources help you employ these cloud concepts with specific guidance on all workload migrations. That breakdown is really helpful, Megan. It's great to see the migration journey structured in a way that covers all the bases, especially given the amount of different migration scenarios that exist. But let's talk about the specific resources next. Marco, can you walk us through what's available for organizations that are looking to dig deeper and develop the skills to make their migration a success? Yes, absolutely. We got you covered, Aaron. So no matter where you are in, on your migration journey or what type of workers you are leaving with, we have detailed guides to support you. We call these guides plans on Microsoft Learn. These plans are structured learning modules that guide you through a series of milestones all toward mastering specific skills. These are five plans that are valuable for a variety of migration scenarios. Let me just highlight three in particular. The first one, migrating Windows Server workload to Azure. 
this plan teaches you how to migrate and secure on-premises Windows Server workloads to Azure and how to bring Azure innovation to your hybrid environments with Azure Arc. You'll also learn how to manage your migration with tools like Azure Backup and Azure Monitor. The next plan is for migrating VMware solutions to, AI, to be AI ready. This one's particularly useful if you're working with VMware resources because it teaches you how to migrate these resources by deploying Azure VMware solutions to Azure. The third plan is dedicated to migrating Linux and PostgreSQL workloads. This particular plan teaches you how to migrate and extend your Linux workloads on Azure with improved scalability, security, and privacy. You also explore Azure database for PostgreSQL, implementation options, and how to configure a server for your own needs. That was great. Three fantastic plans, each with a different flavor. It seems like great for really customizing your approach. Uh, thanks for sharing those, Marco. Now, Megan, let's jump back into the plans you've got to share. Can you walk us through how those are unique and how they can help organizations maximize their cloud performance? Absolutely, Aaron. I'd be delighted. First, let me tell you about this plan for SAP migration to Azure. This training covers everything you need to know about migrating SAP workloads on Azure and covers hot topics on both native SAP on Azure as well as new content on Rise with SAP. Next, I'm really excited about our skilling plans focused on the essentials of Azure. These are relevant and important for all workloads. With this set of training, you'll learn to prepare, analyze, and optimize workloads using tools and frameworks. You'll learn about Azure pricing and cost management of your Azure and AI investments as well. Amazing. Between those five selling plans, that's a ton of ground covered, and it really sets up our customers for migration success. The essentials of Azure plan in particular sounds invaluable for anyone aiming to get a comprehensive review of cost management and resiliency across their workloads. Um, but all in all, thank you both for walking us through these incredible options. Megan and Marco, it's been great having you on the show today. And for all of our viewers, we have good news. All of the plans discussed today are already live. Now is the perfect time to jump in and explore these plans on Microsoft Learn. Whether you're just starting out or looking to fine tune your existing migration strategy, there's definitely a plan made for you. You can find links to everything we discussed today in the description below. And if you found today's episode valuable, make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a beat on all things Azure. And if you've got questions about migration or feedback on the show, please let us know in the comments. We love hearing from you. Until next time, keep innovating with Azure, and we'll see you back here on the Azure Essential Show.